Hello everyone. Say anything to anybody? Hello. Hello everyone. David here. Hey, uh, today I want to talk to you about Gonzalo Lira. For you who don't know who he is, I'll get put some information in the video. But basically, he's a he's an American Chilean guy who ended up in the Ukraine right before the start of the conflict there. He was over there due to family issues. <clears throat> And when the conflict started, he decided to stay and report on what was going on. And uh, he had been doing that for a few months, and then he got picked up by the SBU, the, uh, I guess, the secret police of Ukraine. And he was told, you can't leave the country. And um, I'm not sure what other directives he was given, but basically they left him alone. And he started a Patreon, and that's when I got to know him a little bit from the Patreon. I had several conversations with him, and what I'll do is I'm gonna have to go in, and this is gonna take a little bit of work. I'll, uh, I'll put together snippets of um, the conversations that I had with him, as in, just as a, an FYI, just to show that, you know, while I don't know the man extremely well, you know, after you have a conversation with somebody a few times, you get to know them a little bit. And uh, long story short, he's, uh, he's an important voice because he is putting out content that is his opinion based on his analysis of what he's seeing over, over there. And if you are a U.S. citizen in the Ukraine or in Italy or in England or in Mexico, the local people there the police, the government, they don't have a right to whisk away an American citizen and put them in jail for illegal reasons. And what does illegal reason mean? If you are exercising your freedom of speech as an American citizen, and that country decides that they don't want you speaking the truth, then they have one recourse. They can deport you. They can say, you're no longer welcome in this country, get your bags, your visas revoked, leave. That's their recourse. They do not have the right to kill him. They do not have, have the right to torture him. They do not have the right to imprison him. They do not have the right to try him on some third world shithole country charges. And if they do do that, that is where our government, our State Department, our politicians are supposed to step in and stand up for American citizens. That's why we have embassies around the world. And that's probably why, you know, why we should have, you know, uh, the justification for the two million military bases <laughs> around the world. I am exaggerating, of course. But the bottom line is, is if the only point of this government, whether it's Republican, Democrat, whoever, is to protect large corporate interests and it's not there to protect you and me, then this government has to go. But that's another video for a separate day. The whole point of this video is, is I'm asking, uh, I'll put a link below where Gonzalo basically uh, posted a video. He was trying to cross the border and in one of the videos several months ago, I told him, I said, what, what in the hell are you doing, man? Get your ass out of there. And unfortunately, you know, this is, this is the problem. And I've, I mentioned this to Dan privately. I've never said this publicly. And I like you, Gonzalo. You're a good guy, but you, you made a mistake here. And, and all of us are subject to mistakes, even those people who are trained we all, we all, we're human. We make mistakes, and on, we just hope we don't make catastrophic mistakes at the wrong time. You know, hopefully we can live and learn from it, and hopefully he's not dead, and uh, <clears throat> and he can learn from this. But the bottom line is, when you are in danger, especially when your life is in danger, not just getting punched in the face, but when people threaten you, and they threaten to disappear you and hurt you. Uh, take it seriously. Take it seriously. Take them at their word. Because 
You only have one life. So unless you want to die for no reason. So what I'm going to ask everybody to do, I've been tweeting the State Department. I've been tweeting politicians, media. I've been contacting them by email if I can. And I would ask that if, if this was AOC, let's see, who's somebody, AOC I don't really consider. Uh, let's see, somebody who I think is really, like Joe Biden or um, some of these, boy, I can't even think of this, so many of them. But if this was somebody that I disagreed with on every issue, every single issue, and they were in another country, and that country, let's say somebody went to um, Russia or, um, uh, I, I can't even think of the countries, uh, and they were saying things that the local government didn't like. And I disagreed with the, the American who was saying them. I, I wouldn't cheer on that government throwing this person in jail or killing them. Are you kidding me? What, what's wrong with these people who are cheering on Gonzalo getting executed or, or imprisoned or tortured because they disagree with what he has to say? He's not divulging state secrets. He's regurgitating shit from that's been reported online. There's no state secrets. There's no top security. He's giving his opinion. And that's the whole point of YouTube. And that's the point I wanted to make. If they can take him away... They can take me away, they can take you away, they can take Ron Paul away, they could take Joe Biden, they can take them all away. If you just happen to disagree with whatever they were saying. And I disagree with that. I think that even if I disagree with everything you have to say, you have the right to say it. As Ayn Rand says, that it's... What is the exact saying she says? I may have to, I may have to uh, paraphrase it. But basically, you can ignore reality, but you can't ignore the consequences of ignoring reality. And that's the way I believe. If I'm wrong, I'm going to find out over time. If you're wrong, you're going to find out. In most probability. I mean, we still don't know about JFK files, but that's another story. And now they're trying to tell us about aliens, but. That's all off the topic. That's all. Those are all distractions as far as uh, this news story. But unlike being in Russia or Venezuela or North Korea, guess what? We've given how many hundreds of billions of dollars to Ukraine over the last year? Maybe trillions? That's not being reported yet? Are you telling me that if Joe Biden or Anthony Blinken or... Who knows? Maybe even Janet Yellen. If, if any of them called up and said, hey, Vladimir, you know, this is unacceptable. You know, this is an American citizen. Uh, you don't have reign over American citizens. Get them on a plane to Washington now. And if he goes, not in our country, you don't. Then I'd say, well, guess what? We're going to cut off your funding and you're not going to get another bullet from us, not another dime. Not another missile. Nothing. We're pulling out all the American troops that are in Ukraine right now. We're pulling out all the American equipment in Ukraine. And we're going to push NATO to do the same thing. I think Gonzalo would be on a plane within, uh, within a couple hours. And that's what we need to do. We need to demand that this government stands up for you and me. Stands up for Gonzalo. Stands up for anybody who is putting out a YouTube channel. And on the YouTube channel, he's saying some very uncomfortable truths that are going to be, again, we're going to find out in time. And if what he is saying is correct and nobody listened to him, well, shame on you. He's been doing his best trying to wake people up. And the, 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 uh, the trolls and the, the paid bots the paid people online who come out and try to make this guy look like the devil. Well, they're paid. They're paid. That's their job. But all he, Gonzalo's been trying to do is trying to wake people up so that, look at all the people who are dying for nothing. For nothing. And the reason I say for nothing is because in about a year, 
it's probably going to end up exactly as Gonzalo Lira predicted. And so that's why it was for nothing. Okay, so I'm going to work on that compilation because I think it, it shows that what he has to say is nothing conspiratorial, nothing that you and I should not already know if we follow the news. And you can see it's rainy season here. It's going to rain soon. So, but I was thinking about this on my walk, and I wanted to talk about this before. Before I, uh, I mean, I, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. I, I'm furious. You know, just I'm as furious. As, you know, like when Trump didn't pardon Julian Assange, and and the others there, like uh, Snowden and uh, uh, Manning. And any other people who are in prison for the wrong reasons. And hold on. And uh, we, we can debate that. But I, I firmly believe that any time, any time somebody puts their neck on the line, puts their career on the line, puts their way of life on the line for the right reasons, it, it is a crime to punish those people or persecute those people. And, and if you look at the information that Julian Assange released, the reason that they went after him so badly, so hard, it, it's an embarrassment for the United States. That's why they went after him. And they went after him just like they're going after Gonzalo because they're trying to make it a lesson. They're trying to teach people a lesson that if you're going to do this, as some people will probably say, F around and find out. F around and find out. Well, I think that's a pretty, uh, that's, that's not what the United States was based on. The United States was based on, at least the United States I believe in, was based on people standing up and doing the right thing. Doing the right thing. And the right thing means that <clears throat> you need to allow people that you disagree with to speak. Because guess what? Over the years, I have, I have come around 180 degrees on certain topics where I was like either ignorant, because I, you know, ignorant doesn't mean stupid, it just means you don't know. You haven't done the work. You haven't put in the time. And I was ignorant of certain things, and over time, I, people introduced me to information, I did some digging, and now I believe certain things. Now, that's why I always reserve the right to change my mind. Because, um, again, I'm a human being. I'm wrong. I, I make mistakes. And that's okay. Okay. You know, uh, before Gonzalo crossed the border, he made a plea. He said, he said, please stand up for my freedom. Please do not allow them to disappear me. And, and I hope that you are as outraged that some government that the United States is, I mean, you see these videos of Philadelphia and Los Angeles, and then you compare it to Kiev, and Kiev looks pretty beautiful compared to Philadelphia and LA right now, and many other cities in the United States. So it's not like we, I mean, we are sending billions or trillions to these countries around the world that we're not using to help our own citizens. Think about that. Think about that. Drive? This is why, I mean, if you don't travel, get in your car, man. Drive around. Drive around, explore. Go to any major city. It's an embarrassment. It's an embarrassment. It reminds me of like the 70s in many ways how a lot of cities used to look. We need to start standing up and we need to start saying no. 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 We will fight. We will fight. And fight doesn't necessarily mean just physical altercation. We will fight back. We will take it back. If these people are not going to stand up for us, and when they're not standing up for Gonzalo Lira, they're not standing up for you, and they're not standing up for me. 
Because if it was you in that prison for making videos, whatever side you're on, whatever, if some institution or government, you know, I've had my YouTube channel deleted a couple of years ago because because <laughs> I would not conform to their stupid requirements for masks or vaccines or any of it. And I was speaking out. I had Jim Willie on and we were saying, oh, you know, no, no, no. Instead of having allowing discussion and, and debate on this, they just deleted everybody. And I was gone for several months until one day they did. They, uh, I met somebody, they said, contact this person, and they restored the channel. And I really don't care, because I don't do this for a living. But, um, but I can tell you that all the people who have fought and died for this country in public wars, private wars, and every other way possible. Even the policemen and firemen who have died, anybody who's really died in service of this country in some way, the most important thing that they died for was freedom. Freedom of you to decide how you wanted to live your life. And freedom for you to Express whatever you want to express, even if it's chicken shit. We can never let go of that, people. We can never let go of that. If AOC wants to say, you know, cow farts are polluting the world, God bless her. Let her say it. It's up to you and me to decide if we're going to listen to her or not if we're going to believe her or not. And that's another thing in our world right now. We have a real problem with credibility now. We don't know who to trust or what to trust in. But that's another, again, another problem. Okay. All right. Well, what a gorgeous, you know, it's rainy season here. So, you know, it kind of stinks that it rains, you know, several hours a day. But when it's not, it's just, I'm up in the hills of Veracruz. And I'll tell you, man, it's so peaceful here. And uh, actually, right down the street is the waterfall, uh, about, about two miles from here. It's the waterfall from the movie Romancing the Stone with Michael Douglas, Danny DeVito, and Kathleen Turner. And uh, <clears throat> supposedly, they filmed around here. In the movie, it's supposed to be Colombia, but it's really in Mexico that they filmed it. And uh, Mexico is going to become more and more important to the United States as well. You'll see. You'll see. Because Mexico has a very young population. They are actually very industrious and they have a lot of manufacturing here that uh, we don't have in the U.S. anymore. Peso has, well, I'm not going to go into Mexico. This is about Gonzalo Lira. Okay. All right, I'll follow up with a video as soon as I've had time to be able to compile those videos and put it into format. I just, um, yeah, everything's slow out here. Peace. Hey, any comments, questions, put them below. And please take the initiative to contact the State Department, the President, your local politicians, and demand... What I say is, and I'll put a copy to the link of my tweets where I say, hey, where's Gonzalo Lira? One phone call, one phone call would release him. Biden or some other person calling up saying, let him go. He'd be on a plane in an hour, probably less if he's not dead. Okay, thanks. Cheers. Bye.